So let's do this. Let's say we have same problem we did before, 39.4, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put another decimal place after this. So we're going to put 0.46, okay, and this is in degrees. Okay, again, so you take the whole part, write it down. You take the 0.46 part and you multiply that times 60, okay? So I'm going to do that with you. First of all, this is 39 degrees. Now, take the 0 0.46, 0 0.46 times 60, and you're going to get 27.6, right? 27.6, and that's going to be in minutes, right? But we want to get seconds. So, if the 0 0.6 represents 0 0.6 of one minute, then that means that that's 0 0.6 times 60, right? So 39 degrees, 27 minutes, and now in your calculator it says 27.6, so just subtract the 27 so you get the 0 0.6 by itself. This is going to really save you a lot of time on your test by doing it the way I'm telling you to do it. You take the 0 0.6 that you have on your calculator and just type in times 60 and you'll get 36. And that's 36 seconds. And this is the way you note se uh, seconds with two little tick marks, right? Okay, let's do another one. Let's say we had 128.68 sec uh, 68 degrees. Okay, you take the whole part, 128, and now you write degree after that. Now go to your calculator and type in 0 0.68 times 60, and you're going to get 40. Point eight minutes, and now subtract 40 on your calculator. You just get 0 0.8, which is what you want. You want the 0 0.8 part. You're going to multiply that times 60 because that's the portion of minutes, but in terms of seconds. Okay, so you bring down the 128, and you bring down the 40 minutes, and then that 0 0.8. You multiply that times 60, and that gives you the 48 seconds. So now we have. 128 degrees, 40 minutes, and 48 seconds. Okay, so let's say you had 276.91 degrees. Okay, now take the 276. Okay, take the 91 and type and just type in your calculator 0.91 times 60 and you get 54.6. Just write the 54 down. Okay. Now on your calculator, subtract 54 and you'll be left with 0.6. Now multiply that times 60 and that gives you 36 seconds. And you just mark everything off. Right? You see how much faster it's getting? Okay, let's do another one. Let me get rid of this line. And everything else for that matter. You see these are getting a lot quicker now, right? Now watch this. 1781.96651. Okay, write down the whole number part first. 1781. Then type in your calculator 0 0.96651 times 60, which is 57.9906. Just write down the 57. That's all we're interested in. That's minutes. Now subtract 57. So it gives you the point nine. It gives you the decimal point. And you're going to multiply that times 60, so just times 60. And now you're going to get 59.436. Forget about the 0.36. We're only interested in the whole number part. So that's going to be 59.4. So the 0.4 you round down, so it's just, or you just keep it the same, so it's 59, degree, 59 seconds. Okay, we'll do another one 63.071. Okay, so you take the 63 part, and you write that down, 63. Then you type in 0 0.071 times 60, and you get 4.26. So that's going to be 63 degrees. Take the whole number, 4 minutes, and now subtract 4. You're left with 0.26. Then multiply that times 60, and you should get 15.6. So you round up to just 16. 16 seconds. Okay. See how simple that really is? You see, I don't know why they make it so difficult in some of these books. You know, they just, I guess maybe it's because the books aren't 
you know, they don't have moving pictures and a person talking to you. Anyway, um, okay, so let's do, well, now let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. As a matter of fact, let's use the examples that we have right here. 39, 27, 36, 128, 40, 48, 276, 54, 36. You see, these are good numbers, actually. Uh, and they are going to be, I'm just going to introduce this with these particular numbers. We could have gone, I could have used easier numbers, but I think this is going to be better because at this point right now, you're probably just getting the concept, okay? So if you need to take a break and stop right now, go ahead and let this sink in. If not, then let's just keep on going.